Hi everyone, it's Misty again. Um, today I wanted to do a couple reviews on a couple new products that I had gotten. And um, I've got foundation on, but no other makeup, and my hair's not fixed. And as you can see, my color is faded, and um, my roots are showing like really bad. So um, I'm gonna, after this video, I'm gonna um, do some work on my hair, but. Anyways, I need to make this video quick because I don't think my um, camcorder is, or my card is holding um, long videos anymore for for whatever reason. So um, I'm gonna do um, a quick uh, swatch on the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Um, this palette you can use wet or dry. Um, if you've got blonde hair, you can also use it as hair chalk, um, and it does stay in your hair pretty well. As, um, it's very pigmented, it's very pressed, there's not a lot of fallout, just all together, just a really great product. So we're going to do um, a quick uh, eye makeup on, on this as well. Um, also, I've got the Meron barrier spray. Um, it's a sealer um, fixative. Anyways, you basically spray it over your makeup and it um, creates a barrier uh, for your foundation so that way uh, your foundation becomes or all of your makeup actually becomes waterproof. Um, so I'm going to do a little testing on that as well. And then also, I finally got my um, Face Autier uh, prof Professional Foundation. And right now, I am wearing shade number 5. Um, and like I said, um, all I've got on is foundation. I don't have um, any powder. I don't have any blush. I don't have any eyeshadow, mascara, um, nothing. I basically have had this foundation on since this morning and I've been out in the pouring down rain and it stayed on um, and it gives a nice clean finish. Um, it's very lightweight and I just like it all the way around. Now this comes in um, I believe uh, let's see here Ten, 11 shades. This foundation comes in 11 shades plus it comes in the 0 plus the 0 minus The zero plus plus and heat. Um, basically, the heat will put back in the pink pigment into um, the foundations. So this foundation kit is set up to where you can mix and match um, for certain individuals. Um, I had no problem finding my shade in it. Um, as you can see, I have no um, no makeup line, um, and it, it fits. It matches me pretty well. So, and I'm very hard to match. Um, I usually pull red undertones and olive undertones, so I usually have to have a neutral um, foundation. Um, so, I was kind of shocked when I put this on, and it. Um, matched right away but I'm, I'm not going to complain. Um, so the heat puts in the um, pink undertones the zero plus plus allows you to create darker shades by two um, the zero plus allows you to create a darker shade by one and the zero minus allows you to take down a shade one level. 
So pretty simple. Um, I like the foundation. It's very lightweight. Uh, it almost feels like I've got nothing on, which I like. And um, sorry guys, I'm getting out my shadow brushes here. Because um, I'm actually going to put the eyeshadow on so that way you guys can see what the actual shadow looks like. Um, but the foundation is very lightweight. It didn't come off in the rain. Normally I have to blow my nose at some point in time throughout the day because of allergies. Um, and you know you get your makeup comes off around your nose and your nose is all pink and red. Um, that didn't happen, so I'm good with that. Um, I had no problems around my piercings. Uh, it covered my little dark spot right here. Covered all that. Covered all my dark spots for the most part. Um, and like I said, I didn't put it on very heavy, so I didn't have a problem with that. But anyways, um, gonna skip ahead to the... Urban Decay Electric Palette, and I'm going to go ahead and do, um, I think I'm going to do this purple shade right here. It may come across looking like it's blue in the, uh, in my video, but it's actually called Urban, and, um, let me show you this. There's, like, no fallout. It doesn't, it doesn't fall off onto, um, the surrounding palette. It doesn't fall off, um, into your lap. So, I'm just going to basically pat this on. So as you can see, uh, the Urban, which is the purple, um, in just one application is pretty um, vibrant and pretty dark. Um, so next I'm going to do this blue right here. It's called Gonzo. Again, no fallout. And I'm kind of just patting and swiping. And this is with one application. Um, so it is very vi vibrant as well. I'm going to just switch brushes. And I'm going to go in for um, this orange color. It's called Slow Burn. And I'm just going, I'm going to take it on this one. And I'm not using a, um, this is not going to be like really blended. Um, just because I'm, I don't normally use these brushes on myself. And I didn't grab my blending brush. So here's the orange. And then I think I'm going to do this green color. It's called Freak. And when we're going to put that over the purple. And 
And it looks like this one I'm going to have to do a second. Um, this one's, this freak um, has kind of almost like a shimmer to it. But it's not too overpowering. As you can see, um, the color in it's pretty vibrant as well for green. The orange is very vibra vibrant. The blue um, kind of reminds me of my um, hair right here and also my towels, my hand towels that I've got in my bathroom, which are uh, this color right here. So yeah, um, very vibrant. vibrant. Um, but anyways, I'm going to take this um, barrier spray and I'm going to just close my eyes and I'm just going to spray it over and I'm going to let it dry. Um, now this stuff I will say, I will tell you, um, it's got a very strong um, alcohol smell. So if you um, are using this on a person, you need to warn them that um, this is um, it's kind of, it's, it's very, uh, strong scented. And we're going to let that sit for a second. And then we're going to try and see how waterproof this is. Um, the foundation is also supposed to be waterproof and sweatproof, so um, we shouldn't get any of that taken off either. Um, the barrier spray doesn't say that you have to leave it on for a certain time um, before it becomes waterproof. I'm going to say probably 30 seconds to a minute, just enough time to allow it to dry. Um, everything, including the foundation, washes off with soap and water, um, including the barrier spray. So, um, soap and water and it should come off, uh, but we're just going to do, um, water just to kind of see if it's actually waterproof. So, um, I'm going to, as you can see, my swimsuits, we went swimming yesterday, so, um, I'm going to bring you down a little bit. And so I'm just wiping off my hands and as you can see, um, the foundation, it just kind of beads off, um, the water just beads off the foundation. So it does pretty good um, with the water. As you can see, there's no um, smearing on the eyeshadows. So I'm going to take a finger. I'm just going to rub it, and there you go. Very minor, very, very minor um, transference. And I'm going to do this one as well. Of course, very, very minor. Um, foundation, no foundation at all on my fingers. So, um... I would 
highly for any um, professional foundation or professional makeup artists out there that are looking for waterproof foundations or any way to um, create a waterproof barrier for your um, maybe summertime looks. Um, the Face Atier um, foundations are excellent. The Mehron Barrier Spray, excellent. I would highly recommend either one of those to anyone. And 